the Signature Sound Quartet. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna see his face. Oh, yeah. He's gonna save my child. You 
Thank you so much. Thank you so much for coming out and spending your evening with Signature Sound Quartet. For the last 20 years, I have traveled all over America, Canada, and part of Europe. And for the last 20 years, it's been my privilege to tell everybody everywhere I go that I'm from Evansville, Indiana. And it feels good to be back home again. It does. And I've been trying to explain all over America just how crazy we are in Indiana about our basketball. They, uh, they just think they know. I've been trying to explain to them it's a sport in all these other states, but here it's business. Matter of fact, you just heard Doug sing uh, that second verse. Doug played basketball. He played point guard for a year at Purdue University. So it's just we love basketball. And I, I try to explain to people, I had a chance to go about seven years ago to when it was Market Square Arena up in Indianapolis to see the Bulls play the last time they were in town with, with Michael Jordan. Uh, Bill Gaither's got season tickets, and he hollered at me and said, won't you come over and go to the game? I did. It was Sunday afternoon. Every seat in that place was packed out. NBC was airing. <laughs> every seat except the seat next to me. And I got curious, and finally I said to that lady on the other side, I said, do you know whose seat this is? I can't believe somebody ain't sitting there. She says, well, it was my husband's, but he passed away. I said, I'm so sorry to hear that. Don't you have anybody in your family who would want that seat? She said, I'm sure they would, but they're all at the funeral. <laughs> Anderson, Indiana. Come on, Doug, sing to me now. Mary came unto the tomb of Jesus. The stone was moved. He had gone. This she heard him say Gone, the stone is rolled back Gone, the tomb is empty Gone, to sit at the Father's side He's gone, over death triumph We got a brand new lead singer since we were here last. 
And usually I'll wait a little bit in the program before I feature him to let his nerves settle down. But uh, I can't wait any longer. I'm excited for you to hear him. He's 24 years old. He's from my hometown, too. He's from Evansville, Indiana. His name is Ryan Seaton. Good looking, tall, skinny young man. Uh, we got him this suit, fits him fine. We haven't been able to, <laughs> I shouldn't do this. We haven't been able to find ties that fit him. So show him your tie. <laughs> Have you ever realized that? Having Ryan on the bus is like having your little brother. We're always picking on him all the time. He never knows what to expect. We, we hired Ryan, then he had to fill out a, a form. And on the, <laughs> one of the questions was, who do we notify in case of an emergency? He wrote 911. <laughs> A couple weeks after we hired him, his both ears were just fire engine red. I said, what have you done, young man? He said, I was just ironing my britches, and I had my cell phone on the iron board next to the iron. My cell phone rang. I answered the iron. <laughs> I said, wait, wait. I said, wait, wait. That explains one ear. What happened to the other? He said, dummy called back. <laughs> What an asset he has been. What a joy he has been to travel with. I was bit by the quartet bug when I was 15 years old. And if I seem a little emotional, if we seem a little more excited tonight than usual, it's because of this. It all happened right here in this building. I was 15, sitting about eight rows back on that side, and I heard the Cadillac of quartets. I heard for the first time the cathedral quartet in this building. And I had prayed many prayers like, Lord, use me, send me, whatever you want to do with me. But that night I prayed a specific prayer. I said, Lord, if you let me sing with those two guys, I'd be grateful. And let me tell you why. Because when all my friends were going out on the weekend that I played football with and basketball with, and they'd go out and get drunk and party, I'd go home and put on my cathedral records. And it was the cathedrals that kept me close to the cross of Christ. So I wanted to sing with those guys. Yeah. I did. And God answered my prayer 10 years later. So after we auditioned Ryan and we went out to eat, and I said, Ryan, share a little bit of your testimony with me. And he said, well, the first time I heard the cathedrals, I was 15 years old. It was at Bethel Church right there on Lincoln Avenue. The only difference, Ernie, was you was in the group. That makes you old. <laughs> no, it don't, don't make me old, but it does make me want to slap him off the stage over <laughs> Every night I've had a chance to, for the last four months, he's only been with us four months, introducing him all over the country, and people have fallen in love with him, not just his voice, but his mannerisms, his heart, his demeanor. He's just a sweet, sweet guy. And I want you to do it this way. If you want to welcome him properly to Signature Sound Quartet, I want you to do so after he sings a classic. It's called Going Home.
the twilight is fading and the day soon shall end I get homesick the farther I'd roam but my father has led me each step of the way and now I I think he's a keeper. <laughs> oh, your hands, your hands finally quit shaking, buddy. Some nights his hands shake so bad he could thread a sewing machine with it running. <laughs> if anybody knows how you feel, buddy, <laughs> right now how you feel, it's me. I've been where you are. Uh, man, whatever you're feeling in your heart, just share a word with the people. We're in no hurry. Woo! <laughs> That's what I feel right now. Boy, I just thank the Lord. I thank Him for opening a door that I've been waiting for for so long. I can remember about fourth row right there. <laughs> just like He said, like this. That's where it all started, right here. And this is so precious to me. Thank you for my friends and my family. <laughs> and the guys I serve with. And I just give them all the glory.
sister is not what it should be. Jesus saves, he'll forgive you today. You can have peace from heaven down deep in your soul. Just go back to the old time Christian way. Back to the Bible, old time revival. People kneel at an old time on a deep prayer. incredible thank you so you know we got a brand new piano player too with us he has only been with us five short months from Cincinnati Ohio his name is Roy Webb are you glad to see Roy <laughs> Cincinnati that sounds sounds big yeah, sounds that's big sounds sophisticated he's actually from right across the river in Wolf County Kentucky <laughs> Yeah, it ain't funny. <laughs> <laughs> it is to them. <laughs> Me and Doug and Tim was talking. I said, we need to initiate a plan, let these new guys be heard from, let everybody know we got some new guys. He said, I don't, I don't think that word means what you think it means, yeah. initiate. Use it in a sentence like they do down in Wolf County. Initiate would sound like, um, my wife ate two cheeseburgers, initiate two large fries. <laughs> <laughs> they understand me here. <laughs> what was that? What was that word? Well, yeah, I said, <laughs> I said pass the mayonnaise. That don't mean the same thing either. Use no, that in a sentence. It'd be like a mayonnaise. A lot of people in here. <laughs> <laughs> I am moving to Evansville. <laughs> <laughs> Come on here, Roy. Play a piano solo. Come on, Roy.
I think I'm a keeper. strong man yeah <laughs> that was good. Doug you know somebody asked me the other day uh, who's your favorite singer Ernie and I said well without a doubt George Yance he's my favorite singer and they said well who's your favorite singer that's singing today on the road and I didn't have to hesitate uh, there's a lot of great ones out there but I didn't even take a breath I said Doug Anderson he's my favorite singer yeah. let me tell you why let me tell you why 20, only 28 years old. He has such heart and such great phrasing. And uh, instead of me trying to explain why he's my favorite singer, why don't I just put him on and let you 
see what I'm talking about? Totally different than what he just did. I want you to listen to Doug as he sings, Had It Not Been.
That big boomy bass voice come out of that skinny frame. Hey, and he's actually he's actually a lot skinnier than he looks. We got a lot of padding in this suit right here. I watched him get dressed on the bus the other night, and I thought to myself, he's so skinny. If he fell through them boxers, he'd hang himself. He would. <laughs> Dude. I thought to myself, seriously. About three or four years ago when, uh, when George Johns got off the road and then uh, so many other great bass singers went on to be with the Lord. And every night we call these names out because we want to keep these names alive in people's minds and hearts because they paved the way for us. People like J.D. Sumner has passed away and then Rex Nealon right after him, Brock Spear, 
London, Paris, so many great ones went on to be with the Lord. Herman Harper comes to my mind. Big Chief was another great one. I got to think, where is the great young bass singers? Where are they going to come from? I was beginning to worry. Well, I think from Corinth, Mississippi has come a good one right here. And his name is Tim Duncan. <laughs> Let me just say thank you for coming out and paying us an honor and a privilege. We don't take it for granted that you would come out on this night and spend your, your hard-earned money, your energy, your effort, and your resources to be with us here tonight. And thank you. I mean it from the bottom of my heart. This is, this is a dream come true for me. And uh, if it looks like we're having fun, we are. <laughs> and God can make your dreams come true. I've, uh, I've told many young people who've asked, how do you get in the business? I always say, you know, just sing. If you get invited to sing at a nursing home, go sing. If you get invited to sing at a funeral service, go sing. I believe God puts the desire in your heart. So that's why you can cling to his word when he says, delight yourself in him, and he will give you the desire of your heart because it's his desire to begin with. See the fields, they're white with harvest. There's a work for all to do. Hark, the Master's voice is calling to the harvest. He's calling you. But does the place you're called to labor seem so small and little known? Well, it is great. If God is in it, for he won't, he won't forsake his own. Can you sing with me, guys? Little is much when God is in it. Lay this third verse when the conflict here has ended and our race on earth is run he's gonna say cause you've been faithful
What a beautiful way for you to start your day. Pray in this song.
and oh, what a savior he is. Oh, oh. 